skincare products. To give you guys a bit of background on my skin type, I am on the drier side. I need to exfoliate regularly to make sure that my skin doesn't get clogged. And as long as I have a proper round up of exfoliation, moisturization, so on and so forth, my skin stays pretty clear. Occasionally I will get hormonal zits or if I'm not eating clean or healthy enough, I will have issues as well. A couple of the best tips for clear skin are clean eating and drinking a lot of water. I also have a video coming out on what to eat for clearer skin, so make sure that you guys keep an eye out for that. That being said, if you guys like these sort of informational videos, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on notifications because I'm always on the video for the first hour or two commenting back to you guys. Um, anything else before we get started? Before I take my makeup off? <laughs> Instagram and everything is linked down below, all of the products, etc. Sometimes I forget to link the products, but I promise you they are linked this time and for the future. Take my contacts out. I'm going to stick this little cat thing on to get my hair out of the way. This is what I typically use for masks, but I think it'll make my life easier today. Most of the time I start out with a makeup remover if I have eye makeup on, which is not really all that often, and I've been using the Chanel Gentle by Phase Eye Makeup Remover. And I do typically have issues with a lot of eye makeup removers irritating my eyes, but this one is really gentle even though Chanel is known for having fragrance in their products. I have no irritation whatsoever from this, which is pretty rare for me with my eyes. So I normally just kind of go till most of it's off because I'll always cleanse my face after. Anyways, I have had a really, really hard time finding cleansers that don't cause me to have all of those little bumps on my forehead. One of my favorites is the Simple Face Wash. Favorite, favorite drugstore face wash. But I recently started using the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser and I found that this has been amazing for removing makeup, keeping my skin hydrated, and not irritating my skin or making And it's just like a clear jelly. I use like a dime to a quarter sized amount depending on how much makeup I have, wet my hands a little bit, and go to town. As you can see, it gets off mascara and anything that was around my eyes really, really well. And I love it because it doesn't leave my skin feeling tight. It says it has cantaloupe extract and marula oil. So the oil in the cleanser really helps your skin not feel like gross or dry or anything after you've washed your face. The first thing that I put on my face after I have washed it is this J. Cosmoon Serum. So this has beta-glucan, which helps to repair your skin's barrier that helps to hold moisture in your skin. It's a very watery serum, which is why I start out with it, and I'll typically go for like a few drops on my hand and just kind of pat it on. And my skin typically soaks this up super, super fast. So that almost feels like nothing on my skin. And I can definitely tell just by touching my skin that I need more moisture. So the next product I actually stumbled upon as using as a face cream. And I almost didn't put it in this video because it's not something that you can get everywhere. So I got mine in California, but it is a natural skin cream with cannabis extract in it and the brand is Dr. Kirkland Therapeutics. I personally got this because I have psoriasis and some of my spots were really inflamed and I heard that this would be amazing for the inflammation and the irritation from psoriasis. Worked wonders on it. like was one of the best things I've ever used on my psoriasis. I, one night, had a huge zit on my cheek and I was like, maybe if I put some of this on it, it'll have a similar effect. It was like one of those like cyst ones that was really, really deep and just hurts. There's no way that you can pop it. So I put this on, <laughs> I woke up the next day and it was practically gone. There was like maybe a little hint of it left, but 
almost nothing and I was like wow this stuff is amazing so I started using it as a skin cream on my face just to like see and experiment with what it could do I've been using it for about a month and a half now do worry a little bit about the strength of the CBD and if I should stop and then start it back up again I just use basically a little drop of it like that and then smooth it onto my face. If I have any extra on my fingers or that comes out of the bottle, I'll typically put that on the spots on my body where I have psoriasis or anything that's looking particularly dry. Next in my regimen, I use another Dunk Elephant product and this is the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. I love this product so much. This is my holy grail product. If I travel and I can only bring one piece of skincare with me, it is this oil. I actually saw a specialist for my skin and she said that my water to oil ratio in my skin is off. So I have enough water and my skin is relatively plump, but it does not produce enough oil on its own, which is what makes it so dry. So having an oil like this that's lightweight but still really works helps a lot. I'll typically do like three to four drops, rub it all over my hands, and then just kind of pat it on my face like this. It's also really amazing for face massages and that little bottle lasts so long because you're literally using three drops every time you use it on your face. I use this eye cream by Orveda and this is their eye unveiler for 2-2. So this is a ceramide and prebiotic cream and ceramide is something that is very very special for your skin. So long story short with ceramides, I mean very compact is they basically are a waxy lipid they basically help make up the barrier that holds in moisture on your skin so it's a thing that kind of complements that first serum that i used on my face but it is an eye cream you use really the teeny tiniest amount pat it onto your eyes if i have any extra on my finger i'll also bring it down on my smile lines because that skin is very delicate there as well. Before I head out for the day, I'll typically use my Depollution Essential, which is a daily protection mist by Chanel. And this is to depollute, de-stress, and defend your skin against the natural pollutants, especially in a city area like New York or LA. There's a lot of pollutants in the air that your skin faces every day. And there's been so many of these anti-pollution products out on the market lately, so I think it's absolutely amazing. I've been kind of playing around with a few different ones, but I've locked on to this one for the time being. It has red algae and South American fava bean to help protect from pollution. It also has desert yeast extract, which helps with your skin's resilience and helps it hold in moisture. So typically just go for a spritz over my face. It's a very, very fine mist, which is why I like it over a lot of these other pollution things. Like I have one that is like this really intense spray. It's not a fine mist at all and it says, keep away from eyes and it's like how am I supposed to keep this face spray away from my eyes defeats the point of having it as a spray but typically when I get acne I get it around my hairline mostly hormonal stuff I'll get some forehead ones sometimes occasionally on my cheeks the thing that I have found works the best for me is the Burt's Bees natural acne solution it is 99.9% .9 natural. It has salicylic acid that's derived from willow bark. It is not like one of those crazy things that's really, really going to dry your skin out if you put a ton of it on, but it does its job. Typically, I'll put it on at night in the morning whenever I need it. Um, after I've put on most of my moisturizers, but before I put on my last oil. Occasionally, I'll throw in some masks or other heavier creams in the evening. 
I was thinking about making a specific video talking about those. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that because I have like some really special little bits. I just didn't think that I would be able to fit them into this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I always, always appreciate your love and support. Don't forget to keep spreading that love and light in the world and I'll see you guys in my next video.